take away everything we have been through. But at least it can give us a good reference in 2025 as we retire. I want to believe that when each and every one of us goes back on, in, on our beds as leaders and you're retiring, and you think about this vision that I am sharing, you would want to achieve this. Finally, Fiona Hanya Mucholo Azemo Wemaha Namakula Wamune Timu Ye Mukaka Munyo Inga Mugino Kubanga Hamukalaba Mukatambi Awo Mumasa Wiona Hambi Kuliti de Wanoka Kuwanda Bo Yuji Aka video Hungabu Nikola Fimutimu Mulunji Baden Sabu Kampele Kalaiki Kame Kaso Tambula Kusupidi Ewa Gulunyo Etuke Eria Wabana Team Fiona Nyamutolo Team Rema Namakula Kuz in Songazino Bamazeda Ukuzikola Chevaita Resolutions Kale Katu Yongre Yona Mauri de Gafe Aga when you get a sour zineno, a fiona yamutolo, a reason the video, Galagantino, ye, Taina Buzibune, youth, edi, youth, yena, Muyugan, and Gavasinga, but they were Vayonga posting and Delavana team, Eddie Kenzo, I could take it to Madame Posting and Mulagantino. Uh, omukulu Eddie Kenzo ne Fiona Nyamutolo Chilabika bali kulumyani omukulu wema na makulu na enga mazima ya vudeo na baka kasa na gama chino yeta waina kwa uzivu iranga ye walinyo okuyamba mune ele from now we mula ba wema na makula nga ye akwata gana ne Fiona Nyamutolo temu gama chino yi yi chichi bali kuzanya katembo waneda wabula ya vudeo na gama chino she's ready to work with every Uganda no out there kebele wema na makula hawali de jazmini ye already okukula na bubami ono mkazi ali very wise uluzungu rako jisi Sisa mweno video kadama wabati utegede ogena kwa inbox ya kuna mba yange simbe 151 au ya kuwanga nkuya mba kwezi nsonga mba I proudly say the daughter of a peasant because that's what I am and today I am contesting to be national female youth MP doesn't mean that I am the best lady in Uganda mm -hmm. I'm probably not even ranked among the top 5 but because of leadership and the passion that we have to change lives and transform communities we are here today and we shall have the influence in this country because we come from a perspective of going through what you go through in your different capacities and in your local context so we understand it and we are best suited to stand and advocate for our issues to be solved on table my own agenda is very simple it is realistic and achievable. I always tell my colleagues that I present myself as a visionary leader, one that brings integrity and vibrancy on table for the young people. My manifesto is summarized in a five-point agenda that is at the back of the flyer you are holding. Did everyone get a flyer? Yes. yes. Beginning with agenda number one, youth inclusion which is one of the greatest challenges we face in this country as young people. Because we are in the middle, we are lukewarm, massaged to be included, not included. We are even confused sometimes because the situations always arise and we think we are included, yet in actual sense we are not. We are passive participators instead of being the active ones. It is very evident through all the government projects and programs there is no single one that I know where young people have been part of it from the genesis. It is when it comes to implementation phase, that's when they say, oh, let us bring young people on, bed, on board so that the optics of this can look good. Then we implement a project that we cannot explain what its objectives were. We do not even know the genesis of it. Because stakeholders sit down the way we are in a hole like this. And they come up with a wonderful document. On point statistics, the best English, that if you read it and you have a history of economics or statistics, you are impressed. You say, okay, now this is going to work for the young people. Follow it on ground and look for the impact created, zero or none. And you want to ask yourself, what is the problem? Is it the brains that put down this document? Is it the people that the document is geared to? What is in between the gap that is failing the impact to be created and livelihoods to be improved? It is the lack of inclusion. Because much as you like it, the problems of the young people are complex. When someone stands before you and mentions them the way I'm speaking, they sound similar. Our number one problem has been poverty across the country, actually around the whole world. Then you ask, how do we get out of poverty? That is where the problem is now. Because we differ 
Number two is on vibrant representation. I think vibrancy is not something that uh, that someone has to drum for. You can see a vibrant leader in just a one minute interaction. You would be impressed. And it is important that as young people, we have vibrancy throughout our leadership, not just for National Female Youth MP, even for the regional youth MP, even for us at our different district levels. Can you be as vibrant as you can in your term of service as a youth leader? I always tell my colleagues that uh, the best feeling you can have as a young person is tomorrow when you are following political proceedings in the country and you're on television, on radio, or reading a newspaper, and you can relate to the message that your youth member of parliament is deliberating on. If we had a conclusive discussion today, and tomorrow you had me debates or table it on the floor of parliament, you'd be very happy. Your joy would be that your voice is being re-echoed where it should reach. And the joy you feel when you're ably represented, no amount of money can buy. Did you see the joy Mauso had when he was talking about the debate? Tell me which money can buy that joy. No one is going to come and say, Trim, I have given you 500,000. Feel like as if you are ably represented. And you start feeling that way when you are not. I have seen people proudly talk about their members of parliament. And they want to know the whole world to know that they are youth, they are member of parliament. Okay, not necessarily youth. Their member of parliament is ably representing them, and they don't even need the coin from you. This time around, we are saying that that should be the scenario with the young people from for these next five years, because the ideas that we look out to table in will be ideas that come from within ourselves. That's why my own slogan was chosen to be the youth voice. Because to me, this is a platform that we are collectively going to use together. And as a candidate at the forefront, I am just a representative figure. Nothing much, nothing less. It shouldn't be that it's only my ideas that can thrive and develop the young people. Within us, someone would have a brilliant idea that if we captured and implemented it, it would bring about a tremendous change in society. The vibrancy is what lets us to capture those ideas. Three on consultative leadership. I call it the greatest pillar of my campaign. Take away everything else and leave consultative leadership. Because either way, it is a chain linkage to the Billahi Mina Shaitan Rajim, Bismillahi Rahman Rahim, Alhamdulillah Rabbi Alamin. The Ajimiti, or Musumi Wakitabo, Eromusum with Dua. Mkosa Choto Shino, a Choto Kino Kibakita Gomborola, Rari Kuchoto Kono Kunyambi Rabantu Bangi, Burimuntu and Nadi Nekizibuche, or Jakuchoto Kino, no Sula Kaban, Nenko Sabida, Buria Nekizibuna Drama Vari Uraya, non Pereza Mania, Nenka Sula Muchoto Shino, Nenko Sumbered Dua, Nenku Jaka Vizu and Neva Kosumbi, Walimedua, Midimuchi, Drama Vari Uraya, Abari Munsimon of Uganda, Abari Mudokfuna Visa, Nantegazi. Adam, then cause the Sanko Fukucho Tokun. The Maloku syndicate coffee and again Devanja and Mabanja Gabanjagona. We are more Kufuna, Okweb, Hajimiti, and call Samazi, Nyanja Kunokumanga Kumazi on the Hajimiti in Gabon Yimido, Rari Kumasa Bana Adam. Bompere is one of the Bompere Zango Yabulaya. Be quiet and embezzling and Monica Papa. Name Sula Munyanja, Nensa Allah Gwen Sinza, Asumule, we have a limited. Our visa at Jifuna, Alamedo from Sajamunja Mufuna, Sangiba Kunamba, Zero Mosam, Tano Biri, Kinana Mosam, Kuminatano, Kuminata.